Many people still don't know how problematic it can be if you're exposed to dry air all day. This is even in spite of the fact that COVID-19 has made us more aware of the importance of proper ventilation. When humidity in heated rooms falls below the ideal level of 40 to 60 percent, our mucous membranes start drying out. This dramatically reduces the defense of our immune system and makes it easier for viruses and bacteria to invade our bodies. When people cough or sneeze, or even when they just breathe or talk, they release droplets into the environment. When the air in the room is dry, these aerosol particles, which can transmit viruses, spread much more easily. In dry air, they're able to float for longer and remain infectious for longer. Even though a representative study has shown that more than 75% of people in Austria are aware that dry air encourages the spread of respiratory illnesses, over 80% still do not know which level of humidity they should maintain in their homes. During seasons when we have the heating on in our homes and in public buildings like hospitals, schools and offices, the dry indoor air puts us at greater risk of contracting respiratory infections, ranging from anything from a cold and a flu to COVID. Once this pandemic has passed, we should make sure that maintaining an optimum humidity level of 40 to 60 percent becomes part of the new normal. Doesn't opening a window help? No, when you heat cold air from outside, the relative humidity drops dramatically to 30 percent and can still sink much lower. This is far below the ideal level. So what can we do about it? An effective and economical solution to this problem is installing a room ventilation system with humidity recovery. These units keep humidity at the ideal level during colder months. Only ventilation systems with humidity recovery can keep humidity in the ideal range. This is possible because the humidity is recovered from the extracted air. At Hovel, we have been using this technology in our home vent residential ventilation systems for 20 years now. An ideal humidity level supports our respiratory immune system and prevents infections. Humidity levels over 40% shorten the amount of time during which droplets containing viruses are able to float in the air. Physical and chemical reactions that take place within an ideal humidity range also neutralize viruses. As we approach the changes that the future will bring, we need to prioritize our health more than we ever have before. This starts not only at home, but also in our workplaces and schools. Because every breath we take matters.